We landed in LA late at night, so we stopped by In N Out for a first time for some animal fries, burgers, and milkshakes before heading to our Airbnb. The first stop is the Grand Central Market, which is a culinary malting pot, offering a diverse range of food options. The market reflects the rich cultural diversity, offering a taste of the city's vibrant cultural tapestry. You'll find stalls and eateries serving cuisine from around the world, including Mexican, Chinese, Thai, Italian, Middle Eastern, and American comfort food. Some of the market's iconic food stalls and eateries have gained widespread recognition. For example, Egg Slut is renowned for its gourmet breakfast sandwiches, and GNB Coffee is a favorite among coffee enthusiasts. Angel's Flight Railway is an iconic landmark that is preferred to the shortest railway in the world, costing only $1 for a ride. The Broad Museum is home to incredible contemporary art. Right across the street is the Walt Disney Concert Hall designed by Frank Gehry, where you can take a free tour of its concert halls and garden space. A little less what people don't need to know. You come to feel jazz more than you come to know the composers. Really fast. <laughs> the tour made its way to the Dorothy Chandler Pavilion at the Amundsen Theatre, a music center complex of performing arts, cultural events, Broadway productions, contemporary shows, musicals, and opera, making them central to the city's vibrant art scene and cultural identity. Down the stairs from the Music Center is the Grand Park, an expansive urban park in the heart of LA serving a dynamic and central gathering for many community events, activities, concerts, fitness classes, film screenings, and food festivals. During the time we went was Dia de los Muertos, Day of the Dead celebration, so we got to enjoy many Mexican cultural dances and food stalls. The last bookstore is renowned for not only its collection of books, but also the labyrinths, bookshelves, reading nooks, and sculptures that invite adventure and exploration. We made a visit to Little Tokyo, offering traditional Japanese gifts, specialty items, art galleries, and also the Sanrio store.
Avenue 26 Tacos offers tacos for only $1.75 each and you can add your own toppings. They were so delicious, but we wanted to also compare with another well-known taco truck. So we went to Leo's Taco Truck, offering tacos for $2 each and a fresh meat from the spit with a guy who caught the pineapple at the top every time. The last stop of the night was Lily Rose, a speakeasy down the elevator of Wayfarer. It's decorated, dim lit basement, bar of vintage art, pinball machines, plush armchairs, love seats, and a unique cocktail menu. The second day, we grabbed some coffee from Blue Bottle, saw some amazing palm trees, and explored the famous LA beaches. Oh my god! Oh my god! I've never seen something like this before. Just a short walk away, explore the Venice canals offering lovely views of neighborhood homes, residential boats, narrow waterways, arced bridges, and a serene and peaceful atmosphere. For lunch, visit the highly regarded Egg Slut on the Venice waterfront and try their Fairfax sandwich. Their brioche buns and creamy scrambled eggs in their classic breakfast sandwiches are hard to beat. Walk north along the Venice Boardway to the Venice Sign, Skate Park, and the Muscle Beach, where you'll find people working out in the open gym. You'll also find many vendor stalls and souvenirs. Before the Getty Villa closed, we decided to Uber there in the afternoon with a timed entry to visit. It's one of two locations where the villa sits on the coastline of Malibu and has an impressive collection of antiques from ancient Greece, Rome, and ancient Mediterranean world. This is a must visit. After some quick gelato as a snack, we stopped in the famous Santa Monica Pier for some spectacular sunset views. Pier offers a small amusement park and a range of pier activities, street performers, artists, shopping and dining. If you watch Forrest Gump, you'll know this spot, the Bubba Gump Shrimp Co. After a nice walk along the pier, make your way to the Black Rabbit Rose Speakeasy for some drinks and live music. You need to book in advance as they often have music artists and magic shows. Rain Stern was performing that night and she absolutely killed it along with Dave Yaden. Welcome to the real world, she said to me.
We started the early day with Alfred Coffee across the Beverly Hills sign, then walked around the Sunset Strip, which is a section of Sunset Boulevard, known for its distinct billboards, and famous for the nightlife, music scene, venues, and events. Walk along the streets of the Hollywood Walk of Fame consisting of 2,763 brass stars embedded in the sidewalks and see how many celebrities you recognize. The TCL Chinese Theatre is a movie palace adjacent to the Dolby Theatre, with the entire floor in front of it filled with cement handprints of actors and actresses. Be aware of scammers though, particularly a guy dressed up in Spider-Man who offers to take pictures with you, but then charges you 20 USD after. I bet my hands are the same as- Oh, my hands are the same as Dana Rockless! Head to the Getty Center, a museum renowned for its extensive collection of European sculptures, art, paintings from the time periods of Van Gogh, Monet, and many others. Its architecture features a sleek design, white marble buildings, gardens, outdoor spaces, and the scenic view of the city. Admission is free unless you pay for parking. If you took Uber there, you will have to book the ride leaving the Getty in advance as it took about an hour wait to secure a ride down, as many others were waiting as well. Catch the beautiful LA sunset of the Griffiths Observatory on the top of the Griffith Park, offering breathtaking panoramic views of the LA skyline and Hollywood sign. It was completed in 1935 and gifted to LA as Griffith J. Griffith's vision was to make science more accessible to the public. This observatory features exhibits related to astronomy and space science and also offers programs, planetarium shows. I wait on Mars. Wow. I'm like 20 pounds. <laughs> at night, the white dome at the top is the telescope viewing. For dinner, the Michelin Guide Love to Eat Thai Bistro serves authentic and traditional southern Thai food, run by Chef Pai and Chef Fern. Their pad thai, green crab curry, and their Thai iced tea hit the spot. This speakeasy is an intergalactic bar and is such a unique one. If you're a fan of Star Wars and other sci-fi fantasy movies, you will love this place. Costume bartenders and sci-fi decor and vibe will immerse you into another galaxy. If you see the menu, you'll find that many drinks are themed like the Harley Quinn, Wakanda Forever, Loki, Black Widow, Asgardian Ale, and many more. It was games night when we visited, and even if you're not a mega fan, you're welcomed and can feel safe to enjoy your time. For a late night sight, we visited the popular urban lights installation at the LACMA. There are 202 cast iron street lamps in a grid pattern, making it an iconic place for pictures and photo shoots. Free to visit regardless if you visit the museum or not, it has become the symbol of artistic and cultural vitality in LA and still attracts visitors from around the world. Day four, we rented a car from Toro and took a thrilling drive on the famous Angeles Crest Highway. Mm -hmm. 
Another thing that you heard you should do in LA is take a drive along the highways to Malibu. And so we did and stopped at the Malibu seafood for some fresh fish and chips. The first fried scallop was really good. This is fried oyster. With a lot of tartar sauce. Talk tartar sauce. Hit up Broad Street Oyster Co. and chow down to some oysters and lobster rolls. Their other location is in the Grand Central Market, but we decided to enjoy it here along Malibu Beach. The first beach we stopped at was Zuma Beach, with white sand and waves crashing into the rocks on the side. Oh my god, oh my god! As stunning as this view was, our next stop at El Matador Beach was even more jaw-dropping. We were greeted by this steep staircase descending down the cliffs to the shore of the rugged coastline. It's famous for its sea caves and rock formations that were naturally carved by the ocean, and some of these may be accessible during the low tides, so check the tide schedule before visiting. If you're looking for a winery, although there are many known wineries in Malibu, I would highly recommend Cello Farms, sitting on the elevated hills with sweeping views of surrounding vineyards and the Pacific Ocean in the distance. They have a variety of grapes used in their vineyards and the unique microclimate of their region contributes to the quality of their wines. Catch a tranquil and peaceful sunset at the Malibu Pier while watching surfers ride the waves all the way down. The romantic walk and orange blend of color in the skies will make you want to enjoy some cocktails and ceviche at the Malibu Farm restaurant patio. Our last full day in LA, we had to visit Universal Studios, which is a perfect for one day visit. Morgan, have you seen our dog Scooby-Doo? No, we haven't. <laughs> there are so many rides and attractions to see, like the Harry Potter World, Jurassic Park, The Mummy, Transformers, Simpsons, The Hollywood Tour. I'll prepare the battle, regiment. Oh. I will bring you a medium shot.
night, we also attended their Halloween Horror Nights in October from 7 to 2 a.m. While rides keep running, there's also many haunted houses for you to visit. The lineups can be an hour long, so really plan your visit and have a good time. There were tons of food and drinks around, and being there really makes your inner child come out. The Joppa Walkies were also performing, so if you watched America's Best Dance Crew growing up, that was really cool to see. The last morning before our flight, we visited Republic Cafe and Bakery, a French-inspired bakery, bar, and dining room for some delicious pastries and coffee. We ended off with Koreatown's International Food Court and really soaked in the rest of the culture and diversity of LA before heading back. 